so what's up everybody this is d from brooklyn with a sunday swim a update of the pond the container pond the 70 gallon out here what you're seeing is the result of a massive cleanup because i'm going to be truthful there was so much duckweed in here you couldn't even see what was going on but my boys are all fat and stuffed i just fed the fish about a half hour ago there's a little bit of lag here because i'm charging my phone but you can see the babies look like guppies. They're so fat and they regularly eating, you know, the microfauna and things that are in the water. But I do supplement them with the flake foods and they love the flake foods. Also, I have the uh, bristlenose plecos that are in here, which are really hard to capture on film. But I promise you they are in here only thing is we have been having some serious temperature fluctuations with the last uh, couple of days being anywhere between like 65 degree lows at night and then having like 90 degree days so it's going to be time to bring these guys into the house and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do in regards to that so stay tuned for future videos on that and uh as far as the sunday swims i've been falling off as you know it's been summer vacation everybody going back to work going back to school yada 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 promise you guys i'll be a little more up to date with that and i'm going to give you guys some more updates on the salt water side as i have been neglecting a lot of maintenance with the summer being really really busy in regards to that so uh on the lighter side look at that chain sword can you tell how many I got? I can't. There's at least about seven of them there. <laughs> Who knows? And the uh, my other, my regular sword is like triple in size. Uh, not only that, but uh, I know it's hard to see my mail over there, but uh, Paradise Fish have been loving that chain sword and the regular sword. You can see them up there bubble nesting. If you look real close, I'm trying not to drop my phone in the water because that's bad for phones. But he's always in that little spot that seems to be the regular nesting spot. Um, I did bring quite a few of my uh, white clouds inside because I have a quadrillion of them. <laughs> you can see they are like always zooming. They're not afraid of me. They pretty much will swim right up to me. When I'm taking the duckweed out, they swim practically into the net and I have to constantly catch them and take them out. So I brought a few of them in the house. And uh, I just love this tub. Now on the negative side, thankfully I have an overflow which I constantly uh, empty out to uh, refill my uh, greenhouse water supply and uh, just to keep this from overflowing. But if I had to do again and next year I may cut this overflow a little lower because as you can see it is leaning to that one corner and I'm actually always having to drain some water out of here to keep the balance so uh, with that being said let's go over to the greenhouse yeah look how it killed my plant we went through a heat wave man and when I came back I was thinking everything would be cool in the greenhouse but if you hear that dumb little noise it's because as soon as I decide to go on vacation, my batteries decide to die in the uh, water top off. <laughs> so uh, I had to manually water the plants and things. The lettuce did take a hit. I had some weeds mixed in with the lettuce, but uh, I got quite a bit of lettuce in here. The fish have been fine. These fish are like no filter at all. They're just sitting in there. Got some Australian rainbows down in there. Never really see them, but I'll be bringing them in the house really soon. You can see them jotting all over the place when I give it a little tap. Um, just finding homes for these guys because those fish do get big. And the babies in here, look how murky this water is. They're doing fine in there because I just fed them not too long ago and they came up to the top. I'm going to probably bring these guys in really, really soon because no sense in keeping them in that murky water. But... One thing the murky water has provided them with a algae that they fed off of, um, larval and microfauna foods, which I uh, have actually realized do much better at uh, providing a food source, a nutrient source, than the flakes that I feed them. You can see a little bit of the dried flake that I drop in there. 
and uh, haven't got any f no uh, string beans. I got lots of plant in here, but actually no fruit on these plants. Like the string beans, they didn't get any beans, but I got lots of plant. Probably not getting enough light because of the corner that I have the greenhouse in. And the pepper is growing a lot of leaves, but once again, no pepper. <laughs> lots of leaves, but no fruit. So uh, that is that, but overall, the plants grow wonderfully in the greenhouse. A lot of succulents, they grow really nicely. I'm gonna keep this project running <clears throat> into the winter. I probably won't keep any fish out here. I'm debating, uh, I've been told that some of those white clouds, uh, even the garami sometimes can winter over in pretty low uh, temperatures, but uh, I'm definitely gonna get my eating pair of paradise fish brought into the house just because I love these guys and they are a successful pair. Sorry for the lag. I have my phone plugged into my uh, little Darth Vader charger that my son got me for Father's Day, which works awesome. But uh, it's probably lagging because of that. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up because the lag is driving me nuts. It'll probably drive you nuts. And uh, that's it. So guys, thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, anybody looking for some fish, I would love to trade. I got about a quadrillion white clouds and a breeding pair of albino white Daniel, gold Daniels. And uh, where's the other one? Oh, they must be shrubbed up again somewhere. I have another pair, and since I don't see them, they're probably uh, in their little spawning spot again. But I got a whole bunch of fat <laughs> paradise fish. Look how fat they are. You guys are really greedy. You just eat until you explode. They look like guppies. They're so fat in the middle. Uh, so that's it. Love, peace, and hair grease. This is D. I'm out. Keep those tanks wet. Keep those hands out of the water. And enjoy your hobby. See ya.